All right, so in the last series of videos, I was talking about cortisol. One of the things that increases cortisol the most is the amount of work that you do, and that can be very counterproductive if your entire purpose for why you do what you do is to build muscle. Now, the formula for that is very simple. Recruit and fatigue as many muscle fibers as possible without overworking your capacity to recover. The more you recruit and fatigue, and the less work you need to do to get there, the greater net muscle gains there's going to be. And one of the best methods for this purpose is the rest-pause method. So I'm gonna talk about how in relation to straight sets. Now let's say you pick a weight that allows you to perform four reps before reaching failure. You do your four reps, you reach failure, you rest 10 seconds and you pick up from where you left off. Let's say you get another three. You reach failure again, you rest another 10 seconds, you pick up from where you left off, you get another two. At the end of the set, you'll have performed nine total reps and reached failure three times. Now failure is indicative of max recruitment and max fatigue. Now let's say you pick a weight that allows you to perform 10 reps before reaching failure. You perform your 10 reps, you reach failure once. Even if you added on a rest pause, you rested 10 seconds and did another five reps, that's 15 total reps while reaching failure only twice. So in this case, from a hormonal standpoint, the rest pause is superior because less reps performed means less glycogen burned, means lesser cortisol response. You'll have more effectively recruited and fatigued while limiting the amount of work that you've done. So I wanted to share that real quick because I feel the rest pause is one of the best methods that there is, period, especially for the purpose of building muscle, but is highly underutilized because it's one of the hardest methods that there is. But at the end of the day, you get what you put in and you're rewarded most for your effort.